I really like the Ethiopian community in Seattle because it brings all types of people together. I like the Ethiopian Community Center because there's a lot of fun stuff to do, like reading books and like playing outside with our friends. I feel a sense of home. I feel a sense of me actually being in Ethiopia and feeling calm and comfortable and really being, being okay with who I am. It's a place of gathering for us. It's a place of community. It's a place where we can uh, come together uh, to celebrate and to also be together when there's uh, you know, unfortunate things happening. The biggest thing is the sense of belonging that I feel. I think a really great example is the course, uh, which happens the first Sunday of the month. And so, you know, there's times like months pass by where I don't get a chance to come to it. But then, you know, that one Sunday that I do end up coming, I feel welcomed all over again. And I feel a sense of belonging right away when I walk into the door. So that sense of community that you really can't replicate um, anywhere else. Um, I don't have that anywhere else. This is um, probably one of the few places where I feel like I really feel like I belong. And so that's, that's really big for me. For me personally, what I feel like I benefited from the most was the summer camp. I come here for summer camp. Sometimes I'll come, my mom has a meeting. During summer camp, I learned a lot of stuff and I played outside. I didn't know how to read or write in Amharic, but that summer I was able to learn the fidel and like I also learned how to do a lot of the dances and you know dances it's like a lot of pressure here because you know there's weddings there's events your parents want you to do a skista but you're like you don't know how to do it so I didn't have that problem. Speaking of Maringa like reading and writing it's fun and you get to eat a lot of anjera which is yummy. If I can do anything or if I can change and create some really useful uh, service in the community center, that would be having a dedicated person that could help uh, with this mental health and mental wellness related issues. The fact that the Utopian Community Center exists and is thriving um, is, is really great. It can be kind of a starting point for a lot of people to kind of come together collectively to do really great work and to, you know, build our community and build our voice. We're still sort of kind of a young community here in the U.S. and in Seattle. And so I just see a lot of potential for kind of the, this generation um, kind of building off of what they, you know, all these folks have um, put into building the Tibetan Community Center, I just see a lot of potential to, to go further, to have, you know, to be able to build power and to build voice of the community, even um, a louder voice than we have right now. So there's a lot of potential and that's exciting and I want to be part of, I want to be part of in whatever way I can to, to, to build that. In, in terms of programs, I would definitely say learning more about our, our culture and our language uh, because that pertains to me because that's what turned my life around uh, when I went a along the, uh, the wrong path because I, I, I started learning the, how great my people were and I started understanding my language a lot clearer and that gave me a sense of being as a, a young man, a diaspora in a foreign land uh, really helped me center myself. If I had a million dollars, I would buy a second floor for the community center and I'd make like a tiny library, and like a music room and like a bigger classroom. If there wasn't an Ethiopian community center, I'd build an Ethiopian community center so Ethiopian people can um, have a community center.